Anderson, Raheem Mostert. Yesterday he was said he was gonna be out eight weeks, and I reported that as well. But now reports have come out that Raheem Mostert he's out for the season with a knee injury. So early in the day, I had a running back to drop video, and Mostert was on it even before this news just came out that he's gonna be out for the season with the season ending knee surgery. And Raheem Mostert another injury riddled season. And week one into the year, he went down with the injury, and now he's finished. And as far as fantasy football goes, Eli Mitchell, he's a huge pickup this week. Because last week, in week one versus the Detroit Lions, we saw him go for 19 carries, 104 yards, and a touchdown. And obviously, the number two back with Trey Sermon, who was inactive last week. So right now, if you could get Mitchell off your wave of wire, if the wave is finished here over midnight into tomorrow morning... It's going to be a huge get because you're going to get a starting running back most likely. And if you're in fat budget leagues right now, I would bid anywhere from $30 to $40 on your fat to get Mitchell. Because right here, we saw what he could do with a full workload. We saw that he fits pretty well in this San Francisco 49er offense. And now he's most likely going to be a starting running back. I think him and Sermon will have both get work in these games here. But I think Eli Mitchell is going to be 60 to 70% to Sermon's 30 or 40% carry rate here and out touching them. So right here, this is big news. Most are done for the year. Redraft leagues, obviously, you drop them. If you want to keep them and keep a leagues for most of you could. But right here, there's no use for him. He's just injury prone and it's very unfortunate. So right now, Eli Mitchell is a huge head for fantasy owners. And I would bid up to $40, like I mentioned in Fab Leagues. And as far as Trey Sermon goes, he was a player taken in most fa fantasy leagues in the drafts a couple weeks ago, anywhere from the fifth to the seventh round. That right now he's been owned in 90% of fantasy leagues. If for some reason he's out there on your waiver wire, he's a top priority as well. But right now it looks like Mitchell is going to be the main man over there in San Francisco with most are done for the year. So right here, news just in following up yesterday's story where at first it said most would be out eight weeks. But now I guess he got a second opinion or whatever. And now he's going to be out for the season with any injury. So Eli Mitchell is the top pickup of the week. And the guy to definitely go out there and try to get if you can. And Trey Sermon is definitely going to be a guy that is borderline flex starting option in fantasy weeks. And we'll see how this backfield shakes out for the 49ers in the upcoming weeks.